It is a tough ask coming from league to union and learning straight away. Was sport always a big thing with you when you were growing up? Uh, yes, yeah, so I was quite an active little kid. I uh, started doing football, but I think I was a little bit too uh, energetic for it. Too energetic? Yeah. So then I took up uh, rugby league and then fell in love with the sport, you know, because I could release a little bit of energy and a little bit of anger. Bit of anger? Yeah, you know, just got to chuck a few kids around when, <laughs> when you were young, try and get dominated. And you built up this fabulous reputation in the league and you're putting it on the line again, aren't you, by switching caves? Yeah, you know, it's a challenge that I wanted to take. I had offers from overseas and, you know, it, it was tempting at the time, but... To stay in league? Yes, but, you know, I wanted to give something else a try, you know, it's, it's a little bit healthy, you know, to change something up in your life and I thought being amongst different lads, learning a brand new code, you know, I thought it was a good challenge for me. What was it that attracted him in particular? To you. A couple of things really. One, one is ability to score tries. His record stands for itself. Virtually a try a game in rugby league, and he's a big physical character. Are you kind of learning on the job, or are you going home and, and studying the law book? Yeah, I'm studying a little bit. You know, you've got to, you know, it's, you're coming up against international players that try and turn me over. You know, because I'm new to the game, so I'm still up to daisy. I'm running around everywhere, and I'm stuck in no man's land sometimes. But I'm learning it, and it's it's coming easier each week. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. They have a high skill set, probably higher than some rugby union players. They run great lines off the ball. They do as much work when they haven't got the ball in attack as they do when they've got the ball, you know. You're not short of ex-leaguers who've given this game a go, are you? Yeah, you know, I spoke to Jason Robinson and, you know, it's good to have league experience and union experience just there on hand. I mean, I guess if you're looking at those who didn't succeed and those who did, Jason's right at the far end of those who did succeed. Isn't yeah, it? I think running, you know, he was explosive when he had the ball, so that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm, I'm not a big kicker, so if I get the ball, I'll, I'll try and do a little bit, you know, try and beat the person. But yeah, it's, it's a similar role to, to league, you know, it's just getting the ball and trying to score a try. We're attempting to get the ball into his hands because, as he's shown in the last three games, he's a phenomenal runner. You know, when people like Josh take the plunge and do come to Rugby Union, you've got to play them, you know, you've got to expose them to it and they learn quickly. It is different because I'm used to having 15 to 20 carries a game. And What did you have last Sunday? Uh, I think I had eight, which is getting better. It's getting, you know, first game I didn't touch the ball. What about your rut technique? How's, <laughs> how's, how's that coming up? In my first game, I, I, got, I got battered, you know. I, I dove in a ruck that I shouldn't have <laughs> and I thought I had the ball and I didn't. We're just at the start of the road, Josh, um, but lots of ex-leaguers have, have gone on to play for England in rugby union as well. Is, is that at the back of your mind? Is that a kind of long-term goal? Yeah, it is. You know, you, you want to represent your country. You want to you want to be the best at the business, you know, and playing for my country would be a massive honour, you know, because I've, I've done it in league and being uh, cross court you know, and playing for both, it would be, be a massive achievement. But I'm enjoying my time at the moment. You know, I've only been here eight weeks and I'm looking forward to the future and putting that shit on a few more times.